What's up, you guys? Happy Thanksgiving Eve. Okay, you guys. Um, as you know, I have already... I have already prepared my dressing mix, which is already on the first video. So right now, since it's Thanksgiving Eve, I'm doing a rice dressing and a cornbread dressing. So tomorrow morning after church, that is, I have my full boiled rice. And you know what I said, sometimes Louisiana dishes, you have to use poor boiled rice. It just comes out so, so, so much better, okay? So I like to use poor boiled rice when I am using my some of my dishes because it comes out so much better. And it doesn't matter what brand you use. I use a generic. But anyway, as long as it's poor boiled rice, um, just, I do use regular rice. I use brown rice. I like to use brown rice. But certain meals, you, you need to use poor boiled rice. It's just comes out better and it don't it's, it's just better but anyway here go my pool bar rice for my Cajun rice rice dressing uh it's all the same thing like I told you before rice dressing Cajun rice dirty rice they just say different words it's all the same thing you guys where I'm from we say rice dressing some people in New Orleans say dirty rice some people say Cajun rice it's all the same thing so if you hear it, there's no difference. Dirty rice, rice dressing, Cajun rice, it's all the same thing, okay? No to the wise, just in case you guys didn't know, just like pralines, pork, pralines, and pecan candy, same thing. Okay, sometimes they even fool you guys when they say red beans and rice, sometimes they use pinto beans. Have, they th have you thinking they need some red beans? They be regular pinto beans, you guys. Some of you guys don't even know that. I know. Go, well, mama used to trick me, and I do the same thing. Sometimes I be, I tell you it's red beans. They just be some regular old pinto beans. But anyway, back to what I was saying. I got my full bowl of rice there for my rice dressing, and. I got my cornbread for my cornbread dressing. Back in the days, my mama didn't, she didn't use no cornbread mix. She said you got to do it the old fashioned way. You need some, you need some flour, you need some cornbread, cornmeal, and you have to get some, um, whatever you use, <laughs> um, to make it with, um, yeah, yes, yes, yes. My mama was a housewife. She raised six children. Okay? Okay. Besides, I am a widow. I've always worked well, not in the beginning, but anyway, I am a widow and I work full-time job. Okay, so I just don't have time. Well, I do have time, but I have a busy life. So, and she said you don't not supposed to use no sweet cornbread when you're making cornbread dressing. Guess what? I love sweet cornbread when it comes to cornbread dressing. And I like to do it the easy way. Jiffy. Yes, that is right. Jiffy cornbread. So I'll take me a couple boxes of Jiffy cornbread. In fact, I have one, two, three. Three boxes. I may even do four boxes of Jiffy cornbread. And I'm going to fix it. You know how to fix Jiffy cornbread. You go ahead and fix it in the pan of your choice, which I am going disposable all the way. And I am going to fix it. And the good thing about this, when I fix it in this pan, bake it in this pan, guess what? I am gonna mix my dressing in this pan also. So once I mix it in my pan, once I bake the cornbread and I get my dressing ready, and after the cornbread is baked and I take it out the oven, I can use the same pan to mix my dressing up again and I'll place it back in the oven. Okay, and I have another pan too. So once my rice is ready, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this, but anyway, I'm going disposable all the way, which is always a good thing to do during the holidays. So, you guys right now, oh, also too, you got to have your celery like I told you, so I might go ahead and cut it up tonight. That way I saute it and my bell peppers. You know, I, like I told you before, I grow a little bell pepper outside, so I'm gonna go pick them up in the morning and I'm gonna saute my bell pepper with my celery and I'm gonna 
I'm going to saute them up and I'll put them in my dressing, in my cornbread dressing and in my rice dressing. Okay, you guys, I have to do my bacon of my cornbread and cut up my celery. So I'll talk to you guys later. See you guys soon. And again, happy Thanksgiving Eve. See you guys later. Bye. Okay, you guys, I am about to prepare my rice and cornbread dressing. I have already sauteed my celery and my bell pepper. I didn't have that many bell pepper, but I have already sauteed my celery and my rice is here. I bring my camera down a little bit. So I'm going to pour half of my celery in my rice and the rest in my cornbread. And as you can tell, I am going to move this over here. I am just chopping up. just breaking up my cornbread. That's what I'm doing. And I have my meat. It's hot and heavy. I'm going to some, it's just meat. The meat I cook again. This is sausage, scrambled ground meat. This is sausage, ground meat, turkey, liver, and gizzard ground up. And I'll just pull half in each one. This is the juice for when I boil my liver and my gizzard. Of course, I need this uh, for, because it's going to be dry if I don't use it. So I'm just pouring some. And I do have a whole pot of it. But like I told you before, I kept it all because I didn't know how much I was going to need. And of course, I could only do one at a time. So instead of just watching me mix this, I am going to just pause this and mix this up and then I'll show you when I finish. So I'm going to pause this and I'll be back short. So I'm going to pour half of my celery in my rice and the rest in my cornbread. And as you can tell, I am going to move this over here. I am just chopping up.
I'm just breaking up my cornbread. That's what I'm doing. And I have my meat. It's kind of heavy. I'm going to pour some. It's just meat. The meat I cook. Again, this is sausage. Scrambled ground meat. This is sausage, ground meat, turkey, liver, and gizzard ground up. And I'll just pull half in each one. This is the juice for when I boil my liver and my gizzard. Of course, I need this uh, for, because it's going to be dry if I don't use it. So I'm just pouring some. And I do have a whole pot of it. But like I told you before, I kept it all because I didn't know how much I was going to need. Of course, I could only do one at a time. So instead of just watching me mix this, I am going to just pause this and mix this up and then I'll show you when I finish. So I'm going to pause this and I'll be back shortly. Okay, I am filled with the dressing, with the cornbread dressing. Now I'm going to put this in the oven at, at about 425, 450 for about 20 minutes till I get a nice pretty brown. All right, you guys, I have, okay, my rice dressing is mixed, Cajun rice, uh, dirty rice, whatever you want to call it. I already poured it in my mixer and you already saw it, I poured it in my celery. So all I'm going to do basically is, is just mix it. That's it. Mix my meat. That's it. And I'm gonna mix it and mix it and mix it. And I don't think I'm going to need my, this is it, this is Cajun rice, dirty rice, rice dressing. This is a combination of beef, turkey, ground turkey, ground beef, ground, ground beef, ground turkey, ground sausage, liver, and gizzard. Chopped up bell pepper and celery. And again, I do not like to use uh, any kind of onion because onion would make your uh, rice fall. I learned that the hard way. And a lot of people don't like to use um, onion either. Um, onion make your dressing spoil faster. And make it spoil, make rice spoil. So um, I do not use any onion when I'm cooking my rice dressing. And again, I use po'boy rice. 
because it makes it, you look at my rice, you know, you ever been to somebody's house and they rice just stuck to the spoon? Look at this rice. If you go to somebody's house or you cook rice and your rice is not like this, don't eat it. This is how rice is supposed to be. Everybody can't cook rice. You ever had rice and that rice look like grits? Don't eat that. Because bad rice well, would mess up any Louisiana dish, or well, really any dish, any dish. It takes good rice to make a good dish when you're using rice in a meal. Okay, you guys, um, I didn't need to use any of my, uh, this is the juice from the liver and gizzard. Now, I could use just a little, little taste, maybe just a little bit. And that's for if it was dry, but it's not dry at all. It's not dry. Now, if I want to, I can just put this in the oven for a few minutes. But it's, it's already done because the meat is done. The rice is done. Again, you can put this in the oven for about maybe about 10 or 15 minutes. Along with your rice dressing. Um, if you want to. I'm going to bring the camera down so you can take a good look. Ain't hey, about the pizza. Okay. <laughs> All right, here you go. The cornbread dressing is done, and it has been baked. Look at that. I am going to eat it. I want to. You see that? Look that pretty golden brown on top. See that? And that's what you want. You want that crust. You see that? And right now I'm eating behind you and it's delicious. Now, because it's Thanksgiving, don't worry about the rest of the food over here. I just want to slide over here. I just want to slide over here to the rice dressing. Don't worry about nothing else. And oh my God. The cornbread dressing is delicious. Look at that rice dressing. You see that? Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Well, you guys, happy Thanksgiving. I have to go. It's time to eat. Oh, my cousin made, you guys, he made crawfish, crawfish dressing. Let's take a look at it. Come on, Charles, you're in the show. You want to tell us about it? It's the same as your dressing, just with crawfish in it. That's all. Very delicious. I'll come back and, I'll come back and be a guest on your show and show them how to make it. Okay, did you hear that? <laughs> all right, you guys. Again, this is Cajun Trail coming to you live in Dallas. Got to go. Happy holidays. Bye-bye.